Now, the governor of the Central Bank of Nigeria, Godwin Emifili, has unveiled his policy direction for the next five years with the recapitalization of commercial banks topping the list. Mr. Emifili, who stated this during a press conference in Abuja, said the policy thrust will be discussed with stakeholders to provide a framework to guide the process. Business correspondent Chinemirum Joseph has details of this and more. The much-anticipated monetary policy direction for the next five years by the governor of the Central Bank of Nigeria was eventually rolled out about three weeks after he formally assumed office. Just before the unveiling of the governor's plans, consultations as regards economic developments across sectors with various stakeholders had begun. Emefile says this will be sustained to ultimately surmount economic challenges as the Apex Bank targets a double-digit growth rate, reduction in inflation rate, and the creation of jobs within the next five years. We will continue to work to safeguard the stability of financial system while supporting the development of a payment system infrastructure that will improve access to credit to all eligible Nigerians. Nevertheless, Additional emphasis will be placed on supporting greater growth of our economy and in reducing unemployment. Central to the governor's policy direction is the recapitalization of commercial banks, which he says will strengthen the industry's capacity to handle bigger transactions to be among the top 500 in the world. The capitalization has weakened quite substantially and there is a need for us to say that it is time to recapitalize Nigerian banks again. Um, is a policy trust which will be discussed at the Committee of Governors meeting and of course the framework for the recapitalization of Nigerian banks will be unfolded. To further maintain price and exchange rate stability, the governor said the current exchange rate structure remains constant. This is as the CBN plans to improve monitoring on the activities of all financial institutions to ensure they key into its vision. Also part of the governor's plan is the launch of a trade monitoring system in October this year to support non-oil exports and increase inflow of foreign direct investments. Access to financial services would also be broadened to ensure 95% of Nigerians are financially included by the year 2024. From the nation's capital, Chinemer Joseph, STV News.